Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R650 series. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on compatible Windows Server operating systems. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. I just want a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R650 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. This video will be specifically dedicated to Windows Server operating systems. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna start by going over the compatible Windows Server operating systems, and then we're gonna show you how to physically install Windows Server, and we will have a screen capture showing you step-by-step -step instructions of the whole process. So let's start with what is compatible. Well, there's three Windows Server operating systems that are currently compatible with the R650. That's gonna be 2016, 2019 and 2022 those are your three current compatible ones i wouldn't be surprised if one comes out in the next you know year or two from windows and that'll be also compatible down the line so uh, do us a favor if that does happen drop a comment down below just to keep this relevant for users so now what we'll do we'll show you exactly how to install it and step-by-step -step instructions all right so now we're going to show you how to install windows server 2022 locally onto your 15th gen server all you're going to need is a server with enough storage space available for the installation you can do this with an external usb B drive, you can do this with an M.2 SSD plugged in through an adapter, a SAS or SATA drive plugged into the back plane. You can do this a number of different ways. Uh, this process does not require an active network connection on the server. All right, first thing you're gonna do is go to the Microsoft link that you see listed here, and we're gonna download the English 64-bit edition ISO file. All right, so now we need to create a bootable USB. We are gonna use a program called Rufus. So we just go into Google or to a web browser in general and search Rufus, download the program, and run it once it is downloaded. Plug the USB into the computer that you downloaded Rufus on, and under the device in Rufus, make sure the USB drive is selected. If you only have one USB drive plugged into your machine, it will be selected by default. Leave everything under the default settings, then click the select button and choose the ISO file that we downloaded in the previous steps. Click start to begin creating the Windows Server 2022 installation USB drive. All right, so now we wanna simply take our USB drive, put it into our server. Now let's boot up our server. Press F11 during post, and this will enter the boot manager, and you're gonna to wanna to select one shot UEFI boot menu. Select the USB drive that we plugged into the server and hit enter. This will boot straight to Windows Server 2022 installation. The first screen that's gonna pop up will ask you the language, time and currency format, keyboard or input method. For us, it's all set to English United States, which is what we want. So we're gonna leave it as is. Now, obviously, if it's different for you, change it to what you want. Just click next, and then you're gonna click install now to begin. Next, we're gonna pick the specific operating system we want. In our case, we're picking Windows Server 2022 Standard Evaluation Desktop Experience. This is gonna be up to each individual user though on which operating system they want. You're gonna to need to accept the licenses, terms, and conditions and hit Next. Then you're gonna select Custom Install Windows Server Only Advanced. We'll choose this because we're installing a fresh version of Windows and we're not upgrading from a previous version. Now we're gonna choose the storage space that we wanna to use to install Windows Server on. We will select the storage space we prefer and hit next. Windows will begin the installation. The installation will take some time, so we will fast forward through this part, uh, but do know that this part will take several minutes for the Windows uh, installation process. The server is going to reboot when the installation has finished, and then it will boot into Windows Server 2022. We've done it. We've successfully installed Windows Server 2022 onto our server. Well, hey, if you found this video helpful, do us a favor, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudinners.com. That's sales at cloudinners.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys.